This is Rich from Eat Sleep 360, and I have five tripods I use for my Insta360 ONE X camera. I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons for each tripod, and hang around to the end, and I'll tell you which one I'd buy if I could only buy one. If you haven't visited this channel before, this is the place to come to get all your hints and tips to help improve and perfect your 360 photos and 360 video. More information about any products we talk about will be shown in the links below. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. The first tripod is the Joby Micro Tripod. Now this tripod is really compact and it's the most portable and lightweight tripod that I've got. The actual footprint of this tripod is literally palm size. It's really tiny, so in your final shot it's barely noticeable. When you fold this tripod up, it really is compact. It's literally the length of my finger. It's so tiny, genuinely pocket friendly. Because it is so small, it would be no good using this on rough terrain or in mud or in water. The profile is so low that it wouldn't raise the camera enough out of the terrain or out of the water, so you cause damage to the camera as well. You can attach a selfie stick to this tripod, but I would only use it on a solid bit of ground because any bit of wind then the tripod's likely to fall. My second tripod is the cheapest tripod that I've got out of the five tripods. It's made by Ziadio, Zedio, Z Zedio, I don't know, but it's one of the cheaper brands, not a very well-known brand, but it's a really good tripod. Um, again, it's solid metal, very well engineered. It, it folds down quite compact. It's longer and thicker than the Joby Micro tripod, but it's still pocket size. This tripod will handle mud, water, and uneven ground a lot better than the Micro tripod. I'd happily stick this in a puddle, um, and it's very easy to, to wipe down and clean afterwards, and you're not going to risk any damage to the tripod. You'd still have to be mindful in strong winds about this tripod with the selfie stick, uh, on top of it falling over, but it is more stable. The third tripod I have is the Manfrotto Pixie tripod. Now this is by far the biggest tripod that I've got out of the five. It stands a lot higher off of the ground, so you'd be comfortable putting this in water or in mud um, and without risking damaging the camera. It closes together fairly compact, but I wouldn't say that this is a compact tripod and it's certainly not a pocket tripod. It does have an adjustable head so if you are on uneven ground, you can easily adjust the horizon by pushing in this button here. So because of its size, this can be inconvenient at times, and you'd probably be putting it in your a coat pocket rather than your trouser pocket or in a separate bag. And because the footprint of this tripod is a lot bigger, when you go to edit your final shot, this will be noticeable. The fourth tripod I have is the Insta360 tripod. Uh, this is the bullet time handle. So I bought this specifically to use for the bullet time effect. So it's got two quarter inch threads, so one for when you use it as a tripod and one for the selfie stick so it comes out at a 90 degree angle. So when you use it for the bullet time, all the legs are closed because you're holding the handle like this and it feels quite solid. However, when you use it as a tripod, you open the legs up and actually, I don't think I'd trust it as a, a standalone tripod. The legs feel very plastic, well they are plastic, so the legs feel quite flimsy compared to all the other tripods I have. But for the bullet time handle and the bullet time effect, obviously it's perfect because that's ultimately what it was designed for. And I wouldn't feel happy putting this in mud, water or, or sand because um, you want this mechanism for the bullet time to be as free and fluid as possible. So you wouldn't want to damage it. So the final tripod I have is the Joby Gorillapod. Now this really is a secondary tripod because it's too much of a pain to adjust. You'd, every single leg is adjustable um, and you can adjust the head and it has got a quick release plate as well. Um, so you know it does have some good features but the main reason I use this is so I can wrap the legs around trees, around railings and put the camera in positions that you just can't get into with the other tripods. So these legs are really flexible and really stable once they've actually wrapped around something uh, and they can give you some really cool shots. So I lied at the beginning when I said that I would tell you at the end of this video which would be my one tripod that I'd buy if I could only buy one because I just can't. I can't decide on one tripod. I'm obviously going to base my choice on what I use a lot and this is the tripod that comes out of me every day filming in the forest uh, and it goes in mud, it goes in sand, it goes in water, rough terrain uh, and you know this does the job. It's easy to clean um, once it's been in all those situations 
Um, it's very well engineered, it's a solid tripod, it's cheap um, and it's relatively compact. So it's, it, it's kind of still pocket sized. No, it's not the smallest out of the five, um, but it's a great tripod. So I had to choose a second tripod because I could not leave the Joby Micro tripod out. It's just such a cool little tripod. You, know, you can see this in the palm of my hand. It's tiny, it's literally like finger size. This is such a well-engineered piece of kit and it's so small, um, so compact and so solid. So my top two, the Ziadio and the Joby Micro tripod. Let me know in the comments your favorite tripod and why and please click the subscribe button, smash that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll see you on the next one.